Oop. <laughs> Hello. Today I'm picking and storing the apple harvest. Now you can tell when your apples are ripe because when you get hold of it and you give it a gentle twist like this, it comes away really easily, no need to pull at all. If you need to pull, leave it on the tree for a little bit longer. So now I'm going to finish filling my crate here and then we'll take them off to wrap them up ready to store over winter. I'm going to store these apples in a wooden crate, like this one. Wooden crates are ideal for storing apples because there's plenty of air circulation, lots of gaps in the sides, exactly what you need to keep them nice and fresh for as long as possible. Now you need plenty of newspaper and start by putting a layer of newspaper in the bottom of the box. This is really to give it a nice soft surface to rest on so that you don't end up bruising your apples. Now with big irregularly shaped apples like these cookers, the best way to store them is simply to wrap each individual apple before you put them in the box. Now simply wrap them up in newspaper and put them snugly in the bottom of the box. Now as I go I'm doing a bit of quality control and just checking over each apple to make sure that it's perfect and not blemished. Any little fault within the apple will quickly turn into a rot in storage and they do spread very quickly and they can ruin your entire stored crop. So for example this one which has some bruises down here I'll be setting aside to eat straight away. Now don't be tempted to fill the box too far, a single layer is fine any more than that and you risk bruising some of the ones on the bottom. Now that's that one done. It can get a bit fiddly if you've got much smaller apples to wrap, so here's a little trick you can try with smaller eating apples. What I've done here, it's got a sheet of newspaper and concertinaed it three times as you can see along the length. Put that into your crate and then you can use that as little pockets for your apples. Same principle, make sure that you're only storing perfect specimens and then put one in this side, open up your concertina and put the next one in on the other side. There we go. Now these can go somewhere cool, dark and dry. The garden shed is absolutely fine and they should stay good for another two to three months. Now I'll be checking them every month just to make sure that none are deteriorating in storage and take any that are showing signs of rotting out straight away so that they don't infect their neighbours. There we go, that's my winter apple supply sorted out.